Hey guys, Shots of Votes here with our brand new all horror DVD and Blu-ray collection update video. Got sent a bunch of really cool horror and cult titles to review and talk about for you guys. You know, so I'm putting them together here for this all horror and cult video. Like I always say too, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave me comments below this video too, letting me know what you guys thought about the titles I checked out in here and talked about. Also at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a cool horror book as well as unboxing um, some of the most recent BAM boxes because I have a couple of those to show you guys. Now the first First one I got here is from Shout Factory Scream Factory line, and this is the uh, sequel to the original Cat People, The Curse of the Cat People. When it comes to the Cat People, though, the remake, which uh, Scream Factory released as well a couple years back, that's one of those movies I watched that movie so many times. Uh, David Bowie did the music, and like uh, Malcolm McDowell stars in that movie. Like I don't know, that's one of those movies I absolutely love that movie so much, and it's like I don't know. I even got to see the you know filming locations at the, the actual zoo where they filmed that, and I was like really cool walking around there because some of the spots kind of look a little similar now but now um, this one here isn't as much of a horror film as the original one I never actually saw the original one it was one of those ones that I always wanted to see this has the trailer on there for that one as one of the features it's essentially, though, about the uh, this girl who has kind of become, like, withdrawn in life and doesn't really get along with the other kids, has just become, like, this doesn't really... It, the father, too, is becoming really worried about her because of, like, what ha happened with his wife, who's the girl's mother, and he's, like, was, you know, really kind of concerned about everything and kind of what happened in the first film could kind of happen to her. So it's kind of like him just sort of really, like, worried about what's going on with her. But since she starts seeing, the you know, developing this friendship with this imaginary imaginary friend who's the you know woman from the first movie and it's kind of like she's sort of trying to help her along in life and everything it's actually like I said it's not as much of a horror film but it is a really really interesting movie here this has on here though two commentary tracks on here um, with film historians as well as um, uh, audio interview excerpts on here with one of the actresses from the film as well as a still gallery on this movie uh, the next ones here are from um, Umbrella Entertainment and this is from their new line here uh, worlds of film on uh, worlds on film the beyond genres here and this is the second volume here and this is and this also uh, both of these ones from umbrella entertainment are both uh, region free so there's no region code locking or anything on these ones and this is a really cool set here this has um bride of reanimator and beyond reanimator and i really love the artwork that they are putting on these ones they're releasing two like um like i said this is like the, the the first one on this line as well as the first reanimator film but they're releasing a bunch of different stuff coming up on this line but really cool releases here. Uh, when it comes to these movies, though, I you know beyond uh, *Bride of Reanimator*. It's basically about uh, you know Jeffrey Combs' character and them kind of trying to create a woman like like, well, like it kind of has like the Frankenhooker kind of vibe and they're, of course they're running into all sorts of problems and then the sequel uh, Beyond Reanimator is Jeffrey Combs' character in prison and because of all the experience that he's doing and he's doing like really weird prison experiments and stuff in there I, I actually really really like uh, Beyond Reanimator so really glad to have this one that one on Blu-ray if you guys are a fan of these movies definitely ones I would recommend you guys check out they have a whole bunch of different features on here as well uh bride of reanimator has uh com audio commentaries on there it has some uh, making of featurettes on the behind the scenes of the special effects artist deleted scenes uh beyond reanimator has on there the uh commentary track with the director the making of um beyond reanimator as well as interviews on here with the cast and crew as well as also behind behind the scenes in the trailer on this and inside too you see like the artwork as well and then it's a two disc set so it's um for you know uh, bride reanimator and beyond reanimator in here but really can't wait to see some of the future ones that they're releasing as well on this line but always really love umbrellas releases and like i said these are both uh, region free so there's no like region locking or anything on them same goes with this one here uh the beast master which is um directed by uh don casarelli you know who directed uh the phantasm series you know of films and this is kind of like, um, this is a, during the time in the 80s when they were making a whole lot of those kind of... Um like Conan the Barbarian kind of medieval type films. So like there was like these were really really big then. There were so many different ones, especially when Conan came out and how successful that one was. And this is basically about this this guy who's getting revenge on what happened to his family. And it's kind of he has the ability to like to talk to animals and the animals like he can like communicate with them and they're all kind of like coming like helping him along the way and everything. It's a really really fun movie and it's one you don't hear about as much as like some of the other ones here. And this one has on here a commentary 
with the director, as well as a 55-minute uh, featurette on the film as well. Now, these ones here are from um, CMV uh, Laser Vision, and these are German media books. Now, the first one here is uh, region-free, so there's no region code locking or anything on that one. The other two, though, when I put them into the uh, Region A Blu-ray player, it, like, spit them out immediately. So I'm pretty sure those ones are region B locked because I put them into my all region player, which is set to region B, and they played fine. So I'm pretty sh sure those two that I'll show next are region uh, B locked. So keep that in mind. For those ones, I would say for sure you guys need to have a region free uh, player. But this one here is um, a movie. This is one of those films that I is probably like in my top like five slasher films of all time. I've watched this movie so many times. I've been a fan of this movie movie ever since I first saw this one on uh, I, I think whenever the f DVD first came out I remember how many times I watched that and it was actually too one of the early slasher films that came out like might have even been filmed before Friday the 13th or like right at the exact same time but it was and it's, it has more of a deliverance kind of vibe to it but it's directed by Jeff Lieberman this one here is uh, just before dawn and I love these media books like I said these are from um, CMV laser vision and I'll put a link for their website this is number 553 of 666 copies but is this one is basically though about a group of these friends who are going out camping in the woods and it's like these weird like uh, backwoods kind of guys out there kind of like you know uh, going after them and killing them and uh, it's really really cool music in this one it's like a lot of music is like this weird whistling like you never think of whistling the same it's like a really freaky movie and it's like Jeff Lieberman also directed Squir uh, Squirm and uh, Blue Sunshine and a movie called Remote Control which is one that he sells directly which is on Blu-ray which I love that movie that's a, especially if you guys like VHS kind of era movies because a lot of it was in an old school VHS kind of store when they filmed it but I feel like you know his movies have all to me every one of them that he did is amazing especially Blue Sunshine and like he was kind of like the pivoter of a lot of these kind of films like right before you know like start like one of the early slasher ones and he also made too like something like Squirm, which was one of those movies that you kind of think would have been could have been really cheesy about these killer worms, and it wasn't. I don't know. I I I love his movies, but this one just before dawn. If you guys are a fan of slasher films, this is absolutely a must watch. And I love this artwork here as well. It's, it sort of has like a um I think it was a takeoff on the Land Before Time. Oh no, no, Land of the Lost. I think, yeah, Land of the Lost. I think it was kind of a takeoff on the font of that. And it's inside of here, it's like I said, it's a media book. So it has pictures from the movie uh, and everything like that in here. But one, like I said, t cannot tell you how much I love this movie here. And it has on here the uh, DVD as well for the movie. This one here is one I never saw before. And this one, I think it's called The Unnameable is the another title for this. But this is um, the movie here, The White Monster. And this is the media book as well here. This one is um, 500 copies they make of this. And this is uh, 123 out of uh, 500 here. And... Um, this is basically though about this weird creature that's up in this attic and like um that gets like locked in the um up in the attic in this like weird room in the attic and these these kids are kind of telling the story about like this this creature that's up there and the one's like oh yeah this sounds ridiculous and it's like where did this take place and he's like well we're actually sitting right outside in front of this house. It's actually up there. This is where this happened, where this weird creature killed this guy and everything. And it's basically, though, the one friend goes back there later, and then he gets attacked by this creature. The creature ends up kind of loose in the house. And then, of course, these other friends all want to go there to this house because they heard the story. So it's kind of it's kind of got like a Night of the Demons kind of feel to this one a little bit. It's like this is one I had never seen before. And it's, it's actually a pretty fun movie. In here, though, like I said, this one... One is I'm pretty sure, certain though is um, region B locked because um, like I said it spit the disc out in the regular player so keep that in mind for sure with this release here and then the next media book here from CMV laser vision as well is um, 
one here called Strip to Kill, and this is uh, one that they make um, 666 copies as well, and this is number uh, 57 of that. This is basically about a woman going undercover, co undercover at a strip club because, you know, people are getting killed at this strip club, the strippers and everything. So she's there kind of going undercover, and she's a cop trying to get to the bottom of who is, you know, killing these people. A really fun, you know, really cool, like, you know, it's an 80s movie, but it's got really great music as well in this. There's some pictures in here I can't show. See, let's see what I can show in here. Yeah, that I can show here, like in here. But the thing is, like I said, is cool about these is like like these are media books, so they have like pictures and everything from the movie. They both also include the DVD and Blu-ray. Like I said, I'll have a link though for those ones below. The next one here is a movie here called um, MIA, A Greater Greater Evil, and I have a link for where you guys can order this one for the best price. And this is basically about a group of these. Um, it's kind of about like the uh, the Vietnam War essentially about like what had happened there, but it's about a group of these uh, Americans who are going to um, like to basically like look for gold in the area where like Vietnam the war took place and it was kind of about like people had kind of gone missing there as well during this like gold mining operation there and they're there trying to find this and see if they can come across it but when they're there though, it's kind of like they're having like echoes of the war and they're like seeing weird things, seeing soldiers, like hearing really weird sounds and like really odd stuff is going on out there. This is actually a pretty interesting kind of movie because I haven't seen anything exactly like this with what's going on. And it's a, a creepy concept. And they actually, um, you know, the setting of this one too was really well filmed and everything. A really, like I said, pretty great setting and a pretty different story for this one. Like I said, it's like it's just essentially them out there um, um, you know, looking for gold on this like expedition, and while they're coming across all sorts of weird things, kind of echoing the past and everything in this. Uh, the next one here is from MVD, and we'll let you guys know this one is available. And this is from their MVD Rewind Collection line, and I I love this line too because they make these all look like classic you know VHS video rental store copies. Because this one has on here uh, two day rental uh, West Coast uh, video here. This has a be a kind remember to rewind. Mind. And like even the sticker here that's uh, that says DVD and Blu-ray has that same kind of classic look. You know, so it's a pretty cool line that they're releasing. And MVD is also putting out like a bunch of other stuff coming up. Like um, I think the um, uh, Barbershop films, you know, um, and then like uh, Walking Tall with the Rock and a bunch of different stuff. A lot of really cool stuff coming up that they're releasing. But this is the movie starring John Claude Van Damme, and it's basically about him. You know, something happens to his brother, and he's going and trying to help raise money for the family by doing underground fighting. So there's really, really great fight scenes and stuff in this one. But the thing that's cool about this one is it includes in here an extended uh, cut of the film, which is like a, like a little bit longer. And I don't, I don't think that cut had been released least before I don't believe so but it um the extended cut though is on because it includes the DVD and the Blu-ray. The extended cut is only on the Blu-ray, but it has on here though uh, archival commentary track on here. It has a brand new um, two different making of things on here, like with interviews with the cast and crew and people behind the film talking about the movie in here, as well as some behind the uh, scenes on here talking about the fights, uh, archival making of featurette some you know, archival interviews as well, uh, TV clips, behind the scenes photo gallery, and then inside of here, it also includes the uh, poster for the movie. And that's one thing that's really cool is in all the MVD Rewind releases, they include the poster as well. Like I said, this is a very, very cool line. This is number, uh, it has a number on the on the side as well for what number of release this is from the Rewind line. I believe this is, yeah, this is the, the eighth uh, one on the line here. And this one here is from, um, the next one is from uh, Wild Eye Releasing. And this one, Walmart has a Blu-ray of this, a Blu-ray DVD combo. And I think that's exclusive to Walmart. And this is a movie here called uh, Jurassic Dead. And this is a really fun, like, uh, crazy movie. It's basically, though, um, it's like this, this guy is like a scientist. And he ends up, like, um, doing weird sorts of experiments. And... Um, he ends up like injecting this like dinosaur with like this like serum. The dinosaur kind of comes and like attacks and kills these people. But it's essentially though like it's sort of set in like the future when like things have kind of fallen apart in like the apocalyptic time sort of. And it's like these um, students like that are. I'm, am I mixing up certain things? I'm, uh, they are like. They're going out. It's basically like these kids that are going out into the desert. But then um, they went out there and there was also like. 
Mad Max type characters, sort of like Mad Max type characters, but then they like end up, um, the kids end up inside of like this underground bunker, but then like they're stuck down there with these weird like um, people down there, as well as the dinosaur down there, and like weird things are happening. Like I watch so many things, so sometimes I mix up certain plots, but it's essentially though them down there, you know, attacked by this like a big dinosaur down there, and all sorts of crazy things happening. It was reminding me a little bit of that one, I think it was called like Carnage or something like that, and they made like three of them. It kind of had that vibe a little bit, and this one has on here um, a bunch of bonus trailers as well for uh, future Wild Eye releases. And this one here is from uh, Gamma Knife Films. This is one I reviewed a long time ago when this first came out to uh, DVD, and it's now available on Blu-ray in a uh, Blu-ray and DVD combo here. And this is one I really liked. It's a total uh, classic old school throwback, and it's got like um, a vibe of like a 70s and 80s film. It's a similar movie uh, to um, Black Christmas. It's got that same kind of vibe about someone making these calls, and it's about people who are at our soror a sorority house getting together for this party, and they're getting like killed off uh, one by one by some mysterious person. And it's kind of like, who is this person? It's like, a, like I said, a total old school classic uh, slasher type film. Really great 80s music and the 80s style, you know, synth music and everything. And if, like I said, it kind of is on the cusp between like a late 70s, early 80s sort of vibe. But one I would recommend if you guys are, you know, a fan of this one and you like, like, uh, retro kind of, like, throwback type movies. This has on here, though, a commentary track in here. Uh, featurette on here about shooting the, um, the film in 13 days. Theatrical trailers. And Joe Bob Briggs has a drive-in total on here as well. But one, like I said, I talked about this one years back. Really love that. So really happy to have a Blu-ray of this. Next one here is from uh, Scorpion Releasing, and through as well, this is like in conjunction with Doppelganger Releasing, and this is uh, Greaser's Palace, and this is directed by um, Robert Day Jr.'s father, and I never knew that his father directed movies and he you know he acts as well, but for some reason I never knew that, and this is basically though a kind of like a. a take on Jesus's life and like a but like set in the west and he kind of comes into this town and he kind of just wants to like do songs and dances and everything but he like but he's also like performing miracles and everything but then he gets into this like kind of scuffle with a guy who runs this um kind of saloon kind of bar type place and it's kind of he wants that's where he wants to like perform and everything and it's like it's a really interesting kind of weird take on like like i said the story of jesus and all that kind of stuff which i, I don't know a ton of that stuff to be honest like all the details of that kind of thing but it's like done you know as like a kind of a parody kind of like western kind of song and dance take on the whole thing this has on here a brand new 2018 uh scan of the film from the original camera negative so really really great transfer on this one as well as on camera interview here with Robert Downey Jr. as well as uh, liner notes liner notes on this one as well uh, the next one this is run is like really ridiculous movie called Fisted from DWN uh, Productions and I'll put a link where you guys can order this one uh, but this was like ridiculous <laughs> I, 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 I kind of thought this was funny like about a group of these like uh, Kid, like they weren't really kids like they were like sort of like supposed to be like 20s or something who were all from this um like they were like in a boy scouts group and they kind of are going out on this like meet up again after years of not seeing each other and they go out there and it's like um you know they have like the plan for this troop leader because of the things that he did in the past but like out there there's this like crazy like creature who has this like fist or fire that will like punch people and they're like blow up so there's like really crazy like super over the top crazy like ridiculous deaths and stuff and there's some really ridiculous kind of dialogue and stuff in this movie and like weird weird stuff going on sort of has like a greasy strangler kind of Tim and eric -y kind of vibe to this it also has a bonus movie on here as well as well as a commentary track on here with the director on this and this is the book I was going to show you guys. You guys can get this one on Amazon. This is a thing here, a book here called My Favorite Horror Film, uh, My Favorite Horror Movie. And this is produced by Christian Ackerman, produced and edited by Christian Ackerman. It's, it's 48 essays by horror creators on films that shape them. So it's basically talking to um, some people, you know, uh, in the horror world that are like directors, producers, actors, and everything about their picks for their favorite movies. For example, things like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like uh, H.P. Lovecraft's animator like Graham Skipper who's like he directs as well but he was also an actor acts in a bunch of movies as well 
you know, um, people uh, talking about Latin American Werewolf in London. So it's all, like I said, it's all uh, the people in the horror world talking about their favorite films. So a pretty cool one. Like I said, I have a link below uh, for this one as well, but you guys can get that one off of Amazon. But now we're going to take a look at the latest BAM boxes. Well, let's get onto the BAM boxes. And I didn't have the air on out here, and the foam was like blinking. <laughs> it's like it needs to cool down. So I must have been, it's like sweating out here. Like, cause I can't have the air on there because it makes too much noise. But uh, I, I peeked at some of these pins here, what some of this stuff was. This is a, a Snake Eyes pin here, as well as a coin for Fallout, which, um, you know, I, like I said, I had to peek because I wasn't sure what they uh, were for certain. But in here, though, they always have like autographs as well as prints. So that's one thing that's pretty cool is they have like signed prints as well as, uh, you know, celebrity autographs. And this one here is from Colossus from the uh, from Deadpool 2. So that's a really cool thing to have included in here. Let's see now on to the next one. And these are the, um, and I I'm totally mixing this up. I'm pretty sure these are the charms from uh, Solo. Or I'm, maybe I'm totally wrong about that, but I believe so. And then this this is great. This is a Doc Brown pin. This one I really love. That's really cool. And then let's see. Uh, there's a print in here from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And then the autograph is, let's see who this is from. This is from Super Troopers 2. So that's cool. And that's, um, who signed this one? Um, the actor who plays Rabbit. Eric St Stolskin, I'm not sure how to say his name for sure, but he plays Rabbit in uh, the original film and then the sequel. And I actually kind of like the sequel. It wasn't amazing or anything, but I did think it was fun. And then there's a Peter Vakeman pin here. That's cool. Bill Murray. These are some cool pins, especially the Doc Brown one. I really love that. And then I'm not sure what this one was for certain. And then in here too, some kind of a... Like a puzzle piece kind of thing like I don't know what that is if that I don't know let me know if you guys know what that one was and then it was a print here of the Avengers you know for the new film as well as the autograph here is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the original and that's from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles who act the actor who voiced uh, Donatello in the show so that's pretty cool but like I said this is a quick look here at the latest BAM boxes and like I said too also thanks so much for watching and subscribing guys and I'll see you all later